This is the NFL, and we are live from beautiful State of America Stadium in Chuckett, South Carolina. The Carolina Panthers are warming up their last week's kill on their sidelines barbecue pits as part of their pregame ritual. My pregame ritual is a lot different, Grim. It usually involves filling out accident reports and telling the paramedics what I may have ingested in the last 24 hours that could have caused projectile vomiting and projectile diarrhea while falling down the staircase or an elevator shaft, depending on the stadium. That's a... Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Orcs of Hazard battle, the Carolina Panzers. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Grim Blitzrow with you along with my partner, former player Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. And his life partner, the mini mutant head that lives on the shoulder of Bricks Jr. Hey, you just threw up on my shoulder. I don't often drink beer, but when I do, I get totally shit-faced. I am the world's most intoxicated man. Say that again. And it's first and ten. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Tired of the quarterback tight spiral. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. That one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. It's a six yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> One, hot two, hot Good thing that no drug, and that's just a great run for a touchdown. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. Second down and more. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. 
CCs of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? Second down and seven. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. You know, you gotta put the buzz on the MVP conversation, Briggs. Got more kills than anyone in the league right now. Yeah, you make a good point. Third down, and, well, good luck. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And that punter gets paid way too much to kick like that. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball's down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 The quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. Oh, <laughs>
It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bet. Second down in a very lot. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Third down and forever. And the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. He is automatic. Nice kick. Glory. Just get the points and let's move on. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Trying to fuck a grease football, he gets away in a hurry. And it's first and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Oh, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! Tie this up with two points. And if they don't, things are going to get weird and desperate on their sideline. Two point plays are high risk, high reward, and it just didn't pay off. And now they're both screwed and stupid. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And he rumbles for nine on that play. <laughs> and that'll bring up second and one. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. My friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. Oh, and the ball falls to the ground. That's incomplete. He needs to throw it, but a receiver can catch it. What's he doing? And uh, groundbreaking analysis as always there, Bricks. Oh, thank you. I do my part. Hot two, hot Looks like the defense called a ginormous dirty trick. It's a whole fumble. You've got to protect the ball better than that. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. This is the Mary Margaret of our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. on your nostril hairs once and for all. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. That, my friends, 
was an all-pro NFL hit. Third down and six. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Shake your money, make a big man. You made it. Okay, back here. Get on up. Get on up. Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Man, those are just my balls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Bricks. I'm a high-scaled seller. I am a hell of a seller. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. The quarterback rigged the ball to explode and the defensive player got blown to bits. <laughs> Third down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy Lohan's nose. It's a mare in The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. And it's first and ten. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. A nice run there for eight yards. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. today 
And there's his large intestines over there, his liver. I think his spleen is stuck on that guy's cleat. No, that's a gallbladder. Ah, my bad. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And it's first and ten. Broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on you? And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And he just slipped away like a first down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. Ain't gonna happen, partner. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. We're at the start of the third quarter in a nail-biter. The teams line up for the second half kickoff. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, man, talk about running into a buzzsaw, Bricks. Okay, he just ran into a buzzsaw. Second down and five. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. And they run it for a couple of yards. Third down and three. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Gotta keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe off the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. down and long. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like it's a good fit. loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down.
First down and five. And the defense jumps outside. You know, if he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer. Keska say, what the fuck the fuck the fuck? The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. First down and three. Second down and five. The defense better look out. The offense called it. He breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey. Hey, man. Steve goes in on now. You know what happened? Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, I'm talking about points. And he plows forward for the two-point conversion. You know, before this guy was in the Mutant Football League, I believe he was in uh, the Human League. Why did he leave? Yeah, they didn't want him. Get him out. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. The offense is down to their last two linemen. Once they're gone, it's game over. Yeah, who cares? Linemen suck. They don't even deliver any fantasy points. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And he gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Well, the week the quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Well, that's a real buzz kill. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he got an off. That's a decent punt. And he's got a chance for a good return here. This guy's a brick shot. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over the offense. has only two linemen left on the offense, and you'll need to play shorthanded the rest of the game. Hey, don't say me things about short people, Grim. And at least they don't look down on people. And it's first and ten. Second and three. Boom! And it's first and ten. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him.
Second down and ten. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. Second down and long. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. final lineman, so he'll be playing center for the rest of the game. How's he going to be able to block all those defenders by himself, Grim? Well, he can't, which is why the QB is going to have to get rid of the ball very, very fast if he wants to stay alive. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Oh, that'll trim your nostril hairs once and for all. Second down and a lot. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Third down and the punter is warming up. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. A pickup of about three on that play. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Well, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he Wow! It's like a blood mobile crashing into a slaughterhouse! With a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Let me tell you, getting shot is no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks, slide around on a shed carpet for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel, he got blown across the room into the theater antlers.
First down and less than a yard. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. game when it comes down to it first and two Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one time thing. playing a guy hit me so hard i went into a dark tunnel thought i saw my grandparents waving at me in the light turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnet he was still talking he'd be saying psycho killer keska say what the fuck 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 It's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Whenever a player gets one speed, it's game. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And the two-minute warning sound. Sounds like what, Grim? Sounds like the asshole I'm living on. Second down in a very lot. Picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta. Uh, <clears throat> hey, uh, Either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense, or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. Third down, and, well, good luck. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade! Sister Mary Mark. The defense is leaving the team with just one timeout. 
So they better bring the ball back gift wrapped. Is it time for a ribbon or a ball, Grim? Maybe if they used their last time out. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Put returners in this league. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we off, Grim? And they just smacked that one back in his face. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And the quarterback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. <laughs> Third down, and that'll be their final timeout. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And they just popped his eyes into the back of his head. That quarterback's going to be hurting, or dead, or worse. And they're going to have to sell their souls for this to matter. Lucky for them, I know a guy. That play had no chance. This baby is over in the fat lake. It appears that the ref just received a pair of very expensive alligator skin shoes. They need to put some cement shoes on before this game slips away. I always wanted a pair of alligator skin shoes, Grim. I heard though when you put them on, they feel just like chicken skin shoes. The offense defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talk to you. Hunt one, hunt two. is going to need a lot more than a first down, but this will be a good start. And the defense anticipated a pass there and put an end to their offensive drive. Like my wife always said, not tonight. And it's first and ten. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. The Panzers got rolled over by the opposition and chuck up a loss. And let's go down to the field and hear the MVP. He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Oh, that personality disorder has a name. It's called autotrophism. Hey, man, I was on you know now. You know what <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Heart Corporation. They get it right every up.